plastics are treated as a product that miraculously appears from nowhere and it goes to nowhere. It starts when the oil and the gas leave the wellhead and it keeps on being a problem at every stage along the way. Why is it that we're seeing so much more plastics entering the environment? This is the story of plastics. We got into recycling because we thought it was the right thing to do. Of course, it is a disposal service. You know, at its core, it's taking stuff that people don't want anymore and, and trying to do something better than landfill with it. In 2013, under significant pressure from our city council, um, we began accepting um, non-bottle mixed rigid plastic. So all the plastic containers, berry containers, keg cups, plastic cold cups, you know, from Starbucks. Procter & Gamble wants us all to believe that all their packaged goods are in, you know, totally environmentally sound packaging. You know, they want us all using single-use packaged products so that we're just, you know, on the supply chain. It's totally unfair to the cities and the recyclers on the back end because then everyone says, oh, it's recyclable, it's recycle-ready, you should collect it. Well, then what? The United States was shipping over 50% of its plastics and its papers to China. The situation was very similar in Europe. We were just shipping it all to China. China will deal with it. And we built up these big recycling programs and everything was about recycle. Recycle, recycle, recycle is, is the solution to everything because we had China there. So China's just said, you know what? We're sick of being a dumping ground and we don't want this stuff introduced into our country. I see to the China thing as a, as a reckoning because it's all been this false market where we've just been shipping stuff to China. This is, in my 25-year career, this is the biggest recycling crisis globally that we have ever seen. At the same time, the tons are going up and up and up. The price is going down and down and down and down to the point where now it's costing us 50 bucks a ton to get rid of. If you think we're just gonna take it from China and ship it to Thailand or Indonesia or Vietnam, where is it going to go? When the government shut down the recycling center, most people shift to like more remote or hidden villages or other countries. From, from US. This is uh, Nestle? From UK? Yeah, it's from Australia. It's come from Toronto. Toronto. Dunking Donut. It's from Oregon. From yeah, New Zealand. Divana. Ya awalnya kita memang e, merasa plastik ini sesuatu yang e, bagus ya. Jadi ini praktis begitu. Kemudian orang, tapi kemudian terakhir kita bisa melihat bagaimana plastik itu berubah menjadi sebuah e, bencana bagi kita. Karena 